This is News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. We are broadcasting from the Thacker Jewelry Studios. View the custom collection at 6120 82nd Street in Lubbock. And it's Thursday at 735, so we're going to go right to the phones with the car pro, Jerry Reynolds. Jerry, how are you doing today? Hey, doing good. How about you guys? We're doing excellent. Doing great, Jerry. Good to talk to you. Well, good talking to y'all. Hope everything is well, and uh, we get a little break from the seat soon. No, I hope so. It's it's almost September. Hopefully, it'll jump down a little bit. You know, honestly, the the humidity is what's been bothering me here in Lubbock. Usually, it's about up to ten percent is okay, but we've been in the thirty forty percent range. That's oh. too much for me. Oh no, Matt, come on. It's too much for me. <laughs> that sounds like Houston. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. Your car pro hasn't had a great week with his review vehicle this week. I I just having trouble liking this one. It's the 2018, and you've probably never heard of it, Audi All Road. It is a essentially a station wagon, and I, I just can't get past the looks. The car itself's okay. Um, you know, it's got a nice interior like all Audis do, and it's well equipped. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of pretty cool features, air-conditioned seats, and a uh, really nice navigation system and, and a panoramic moonroof, you know, all, all the things that you would expect. And it is a quattro, which means that it's all-wheel drive. So it is capable as far as, you know, if you were having one of those winters, uh, this thing would handle it very well. I just I can't get past the look. It's just kind of ugly, to be honest with you. Kind, kind of, what, what was that, the Honda Element way back when? That was pretty bad? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad. This is a different This is a different look. I it, mean, a, a little like a Taurus wagon, if you remember those. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like it almost comes straight out of the, the early 90s or something. Yeah, and, and I think the other thing, if, if I could get past the looks, I can't get past the price. Uh, this thing has got an MSRP of $56,000. I look around at, you know, what you can get in a really, really nice SUV that's going to have good resale value versus, I believe, this one. And I tried to research, you know, a, a one- or two-year-old one. I couldn't find one for sale anywhere in the country. Uh, it's just a, it's it's an odd mix of different things with a high price. And... You know, it's got a four-cylinder turbocharged engine. Uh, it, it just, man, it's just kind of a mixed bag for me. Usually I can find something I really like about a, a brand-new car. Uh, this one I'm just struggling with. i got to be honest with you. In fact, uh, I've been driving my personal car a lot this week. Wow. <laughs> that brand, wow. It, it usually just sits in the garage. So that's what I've been doing. It hadn't been a great week, but next week should be. I've got the all-new uh, 2019 Chevy Silverado, which a lot of people have been asking me about because it's an all-new truck, and they want to see how it stacks up with the F-150 and the new 2019 Ram that was completely redone. So should be should be interesting next week to be behind the wheel of, of the new Chevy. Yeah, I was going to say, that sounds a whole lot m- more fun for next week. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. And, you know, this thing may... This Audi may be right for some people. I, I just, it's hard to imagine anybody just absolutely taking a look at this car and falling in love with it. Well, I know all of our, all of our tastes are different, and that's what makes everything go around. But this one, the looks and the price together is just a little too much for me. Well, well doesn't Audi right now seem to be having, I, I guess you could say, conflicting marketing? I mean, they're spending a lot of their ad dollars on Major League Soccer. And then uh, their other ads are, you know, uh, breakthrough, seize the world, you know, drive our sedan, start your company and all that. And yet, like you said, then they then they come out with these clunkers for their vehicles. Well, I, I think they're trying to draw a younger audience to their cars. And, you know, most of their sedans and SUVs are really like, I mean, the Q... Five and the Q7 are both wildly popular, uh, especially the Q5. It does really well. And their sedans, the A4 is a big seller. So is uh, the the A6. I used to own an A8 and just loved it. Probably one of my all time favorite cars. Uh, but they're they're kind of all over the board, to be honest with you, uh, with everything. And I think probably we'll see a lot of new product out of them 
over the next couple of years. It's been a long time since they've really updated their SUVs, and, and that's something that needs to be done. Yeah. Hey, Jerry, I'm on carprousa.com, and, uh, you know, even if you put that picture up there, uh, my eyes just kind of go to this uh, Pebble Beach Dazzles with its supercar <laughs> reveals. And I'll tell you, right, I mean, you've got some major, I guess you could call it eye candy here with these these nice supercars. Yeah, boy, I tell you, the Concourse the Elegance at uh, Pebble Beach every year is just amazing. They have a classic car auction, and we'll have that story up. A little later today, it's fascinating. Uh, one 1935 Duesenberg brought $22 million, Jeez. the most of any car sold uh, post-war. And, man, I got to tell you, they had a whole bunch of cars that were in the – I think they had 27 cars that sold for more than a million dollars. Pretty fascinating. I think on that same page, and thanks for bringing up uh, that page on carprousa.com, we've got – a review of the uh, new Honda Clarity plug-in hybrid is kind of space age looking. But the thing I really want to call people's attention to is I did a lot of research to write this article, and it's titled Everything You Need to Know About Child Safety Seat, especially on a holiday weekend when there's going to be a lot of traveling. It's staggering how many people put car seats in wrong. And this article walks you through, you know, the different sizes of car seats and the ages of kids and what, you know, when they have to go from a booster seat uh, to a child seat and all that stuff. It's a very comprehensive article. I work really hard on it. Uh, and I'm hoping people with kids and car seats and booster seats will take a, take the time to go through it and, and make sure they're doing everything right. Yeah, and I have four, so yeah, I'll probably re- be yeah, reading that. Yeah, Matt's, this, this Matt's been busy. <laughs> Matt needs a TV in his bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true. All right, uh, Jerry, uh, we've uh, you, we announced it before, but you're going to be on between 11 and 1 every Saturday right here on uh, 8, 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. And, again, your website, which we were talking about, is carprousa.com. You've got a lot of great articles there, including the ones we talked about. Yeah, there is. There's a lot. And, and we've got a lot going up today as well. Also, we always load content on Thursdays. So there'll be a lot more up there. And uh, for those that are interested uh, in getting out car shopping this weekend, I tell you what, the incentives right now through Tuesday are amazing. The 2018 blowout is in full. Uh, it's going full speed ahead. And they want to get rid of them, huh? Yeah, well, they, well they've got to. The 2019s are just stacking up. And every dealer right now is over inventory because. He's got a lot of 2018s left, and the 2019s are coming in daily. So, good time if anybody's interested in getting themselves a new set of wheels. And you can see Jerry's uh, list of recommended dealers online as well at carprousa.com. Hey, Jerry, great uh, talking to you this week. You too, guys. I'll talk to you next week. All right. Thanks. Have a good day. Jerry Reynolds, the Car Pro, of course, hosts the Car Pro Show Saturdays from 11 to 1 on KFYO. All right, this is News Talk 95.1 FM, 790 AM KFYO. And uh, if you want to give us a call, 770-5790. We'll be right back.